Hola, soy Memo. This is Spanish with Memo. Yo soy Memo. I'm Memo. Okay. Hey, guys. Thank you all for choosing this channel to, to learn Spanish, um, especially for my non-native speakers out there. Thank you for choosing this channel. I hope it helps. There's a lot of good material out there. Hey, check those guys out too. Check me out. Um, I hope that you learn something from the different resources out there. If you have any questions, you can always email me at SpanishWithMemo at gmail.com. All right? But good for you for for wanting to learn the language. It's a great language. I love it. All right. Let's cover the verb ser. Ser means to be, which we know that, right? Ser is more of a permanent characteristic. It deals with time and date. Uh, refer back to the video where I discuss ser in greater detail. However, today we're going to cover the preterite tense of ser. All right? Remember, in Spanish, there are two types of past tenses. The preterite tense and the imperfect tense, both of which are past tense. Today, let's just focus on the preterite tense. All right? So, first person singular, fui, I was, no? Tu fuiste, you were, okay? Third person singular, el fue, usted fue, el perro fue, whatever, he was or she was, um, usted fue, you were, um, the dog was, okay? Nosotros fuimos, okay, we were, okay? Uh, third person plural, ellos fueron, they were. Ustedes fueron, fueron, y'all were, okay, los perros fueron, whatever, the dogs were, all right? So, ser is an irregular verb, obviously, right? Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron, all right? And you'll probably see this translation again, this conjugation again, in the ir form, because ser and ir are the same conjugation in the preterite tense, all right? Anyway, hey, muy bien. Any questions, please email me, SpanishWithMemo at gmail.com. Y ser pan comido, no? Fue pan comido. Ser pan comido. Fue pan comido. Easy as pie. Muchas gracias. Adios.